I want to believe that we are all abreast of the fact that Mia Sugar Company is a private, public-private entity whose shareholders are well known. We have, uh, I think, 20% uh, shareholding uh, for the uh, national government. We have 78% uh, shareholding of, uh, of, I think, lenders and other, other stakeholders. And we have 2% shareholding of uh, farmers and individuals. Huh? And uh, I don't see anywhere where the county government the county government gets in the formation legally of Mumia Sugar Company. So I think in the first instance it was a mistake for the county government to directly to directly get involved in uh, issues of Mumia Sugar using a legal framework that was even gazetted to want to make decisions on behalf of a private company. We are setting a bad precedence because next time we shall have investors like Safaricom, like Kenya Breweries or East Africa Breweries Limited coming to invest in our county, and we shall start forming task forces to look into issues of Safaricom EABL. So we are setting a bad precedent. When I look at the membership of this committee, we have one Honorable Rocky Omwendo, who is a member of this committee. Uh, I would want us to look into issues of conflicts of interest because the said honorable member is a tenant at Mumias Sugar. He stays in uh, Mumias Sugar houses. We have record that he has not paid rent for almost two years and yet he is seated in a task force that wants to revive Mias Sugar. Part of the issues that we are looking at are assets of Mias Sugar, which have been mismanaged. Those houses are part of the assets of Mias Sugar, which have been mismanaged. People have not been paying rent. Mias Sugar has got almost well over 2,000 houses. 2,000 houses. And it has only 500, 600 staff members. The rest are leaders and members of the public who are staying in those houses. And therefore, it is important for those people staying in those houses to pay rent so that Mumia Sugar can get revenue, revenue out, of, out of the assets they have. But here we have a member of this task force being a tenant. And yet, he's part of this task force. And therefore, we have expressed conflict of interest when it comes to the membership of these... Uh, uh, of these uh, committees. So I would want to request and appeal uh, for Honorable Rocky Omuendo to honorably disqualify himself because he's an interested party. We have an entry point in law as a county government to help Mumias Sugar be revived. Our entry point in law is what Sunday said, the devolved aspect of agriculture. I think as a county government we have the constitutional mandate under uh, uh, Schedule 4 to ensure that we deal with issues of agriculture. We relate with mere sugars, with mere sugar issues of agriculture and not trading, not staffing, not industrialization. We deal with the issue of agriculture. And this is the way we can, uh, we can, we can, we can deal with uh, mere sugar on issues of agriculture. Agriculture being a devolved function, as a county government, we can, first of all, encourage, encourage farmers to plant sugar cane. These will provide mere sugar with raw materials. But practically, what you can do, Mia Sugar recently advertised for expression of interest of leasing the nucleus, leasing the school leasing the, the, the sports uh, facility, the, uh, having an agent to collect rent uh, for the housing. Uh, I did not have an issue with that, with issues of housing, the school and the other facilities, apart from the nucleus. Because leasing of the nucleus means that we will have somebody who will come and take up the nucleus, huh? plant their sugar cane, 
and yet Mumia's sugar will not be operating. When that sugar cane will be mature, that person listing will sell out the sugar to other factories. So we shall be using Mumia's sugar land to benefit, to promote another factory. So I am against the issue of Mumia sugar leasing its nucleus to an unknown person or investor. What the county government and Mumia sugar should do, they should find a collaborative mechanism in which Mumia sugar can lease the nucleus to county government. So that the county government, through its devolved function of agriculture, can invest in that nucleus. And the monies that will be used to invest in that nucleus is that 200 million revolving fund. That revolving fund, that will now be the job of that revolving fund. We set up a fund, say, we, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to assume that 200 million is still there. It might be classified as a semi-asset or something like that, such a term. 200 million, our money was committed to Munia sugar. 200 million shillings. Up to today, we do not know how much was deposited back into the cooperative bank account? Senator, you have shared that we, sh we should be able to have an audit of them. So yeah. you have got any? Yes, yes. So I'm trying to next steps. The next step is uh, we need to get that 200 million first mm -hmm. so that we establish a revolving fund to develop cane in the nucleus of Mumias Sugar, which eventually will be supplied to Mumias Sugar Company. Mm -hmm. We also need to use the same fund to lease out land because most of our farmers are discouraged. If you tell a farmer to, to, to grow cane, he'll tell you, but I, you may mean choker. Remember, dear, it's choker. So, the best way to encourage farmers is to use public money, which I believe is in cooperative bank, Kakamega branch. Last time I checked, we had 54, 46 million shillings. I want to know when did they deposit the remaining 144 million. If Sunday got recently, we had a milling company, sugar milling company from Nyanza, coming to put up a weighing bridge on Mumia Sugar Land, nucleus. That guy has got documents approved by county government. County government of Kakamega. Big use. Plans. Plans. <laughs> so if you are serious that you want to revive Mia Sugar, you should start by cushioning and protecting Mia Sugar from such activities. If we can allow a competitor to come and erect a way bridge in the nucleus of Mumia's sugar, then we are not genuine. We should not even be sitting here at the task. What you guys should do, should first of all take a break and go and stop that construction. Kwanza, what are we doing? And yet, the way is he constructed? The legal officer can tell us. We already got an injunction against that. Maybe you're not executing. Yes. So, Yes, and we have, and we have, let me tell you one thing. Senator, are you out of touch of what is happening in the county? No, it doesn't matter, but we have plans that have been approved by county government before the injunction came. So it means that case, if it goes to court, and we just sugar loses, sir. No, we sorted it out. There's an injunction against that construction, so it stopped and even moved out. Yeah, but that shows that the county government has got no goodwill to the county government. Do you have documents that effect? Yes, he can, he can give you. Yes. The worst scenario you can do is to lie under all. I'm not, I'm not lying because I'm being seconded uh, by the people of this You are telling us that this man is still on site. He already left the site. You are telling us that we should be able to be... To that guy. Him erect. Just I would have stopped the committee to run down the Senate. No, that, that shows. I was trying to build a case that showed that you do not have the goodwill, the moral authority to, to revive Mia Sugar. Because if you are sanctioning a foreign company from Nyanza to build a way bridge in Mumias, 
So if it were not for the courts, that guy would have erected a way bridge there, approved by the county government of Kakamega, which is now using 10 million to come up with revival uh, mechanism. We cannot, we cannot. We cannot. We cannot. So what we need to do is 10 million and what we need to do is what we need to do. We have lost people in Mumias, you cannot continue talking about 10 million. No. 10 million people have lost in Mumias. Yes. Yes. I want you to withdraw that statement. I will not withdraw. <laughs> I will not withdraw. Well, the damage has been done. I will not withdraw. <laughs> the damage has been done. <laughs> the best you can tell me is Senator, to continue. Senator but Jack I will not withdraw. Senator, just hold on. 10 million and even people dying in Umia Senate. And sanctioning a way bridge in Umia's nucleus. Which you don't have evidence. We have evidence. I have, I have a witness here. And by the way, and by the way, I've written it in my submission because I leave you written submissions of what yeah, I'm saying. You. Thank you. I've written it in my submissions. The county government should stop sanctioning and approving plans of competitors Thank you. and using Mumia's sugar nucleus. To broker business okay, transactions. It's okay, it's okay. Yes. What is the point? Yeah. So, I want to correct this notion that Rai has compromised the Senator for Kakamega. I want to remind you, as the CC Charge of Industrialization, Rai is an investor in Kakamega. He's not your enemy. And if at all you want to profile your investors, and that's why I said the county government has made no goodwill to ensure that investors are cautioned. Brian has invested in our county. He has employed, say, he has employed uh, almost 3,000 people in Kabaras and, and the environs. Brian has, has contracted 70,000 farmers from the Kamega County. It is important to note that as a senator, my mandate, part of my mandate is to represent the people of the Kamega. Brian is a resident of Kakamega, an investor in Kakamega, and I have, cannot be ashamed to say that I'll stand with Rai. I'll stand with Butai. The people of Malava, which constitutes Kabaras people, also voted for this government. This is not a government for Maramas and these other people. You must push on everybody. If we have an industry in Kabaras land, we must have leaders who can protect and push on the industries in Kabaras land. So the issue is not Mumias Sugar alone. We have under other industries in Kakamega. We are pushing Mumias the way we are seated here, but let us not antagonize other industries within our jurisdiction. It's very sad for you as the CEC to start profiling an investor under your docket.